Hey everyone, TotalMTG here, and today we are going to be talking about what is Commander Partner. Now, with the release of Commander Legends, there's some great new cards that we can have as our commanders that have this keyword ability just at the bottom here, like on this card, that says Partner. This was introduced back in 2016 with um, some of the Commander products that come out then, and they've re-put it back into Commander Legends. I think it's a really, really fun mechanic. A lot of you might not have played it before, like myself. I've never played a Partner deck at all, and maybe want to know a little bit more about it. So today we're going to go over what is Commander Partner. So what is Commander Partner? Well, it's that little keyword ability, as you can see, is some of my decadent pulls from my Commander Legend box here. That little bit of keyword ability there, which says, Partner, you can have two commanders if both have commander. So straight off, before you start building your deck, both of your commander partners have to have that keyword ability. You cannot mix with anything else. You can't have a commander with Silas, potentially, that doesn't have partner. They both have to have that keyword ability. Now, also, when you're starting off, when you're building your decks, you can see here that Silas is blue and black, and you can see that Kelef is white. And when you're building your decks, you can mix those colors, which is absolutely brilliant and opens up so many deck building ideas that you could do. It just makes the commander format so, so good. Um, for me, I think it's a really, I was so glad when I saw this in Commander Legends, it was so heavily featured in there. And it just, you know, it just opens up to new ideas and new, you know, totally different decks that you can build when you can have two commanders. Um, some people may not like partner, but if you're here, you probably do because you want to learn about it. Um, and, you know, for me, I think it's a really, really fun thing to do. Um, so, you know, you've got different ideas like we're talking about with decks. If you take a look at Rograk, which is a zero costing commander, and you have a look at Kelef. Now, for me, these two partner up really well. Uh, whenever a commander you control attacks, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it, and this has first strike, menace, and trample. It's a zero one. Um, but, you know, you can build this up like a Voltron. Rograk will then just be massive if Kelef's on the field and this keeps attacking, you know, make it unblockable and really, really do fun things like that. Uh, so to start the game, same as any other commander game, they both start in the command zone. So whichever ones you choose will be in the command zone as always. And deck building, there is a restriction, obviously. You can't, you've got two commanders, you can't then have 99 cards. You will have to have 98 other cards because you've got two of them in the command zone. And commander, as we all know, is a 100-card format. Um, if any of them leave the battlefield, they still return to the command zone. Nothing different there. You have your commanders. You have to treat them individually. So both of these commanders, if one dies, they go back to the command zone, and it would be the same for the other as well. Commander tax, exactly the same, individual. Say if Kelef dies, and then that goes back, and then you would have to pay that additional two each time. But with Rograf obviously being zero makes that, you know, it makes it pretty spicy, which I think this, you know, this uncommon is very, very popular. And, um, you know, a zero costing commander seems absolutely hilarious. And, you know, the abilities there, hasn't it? First Strike, Menace and Trample seems really cool to build it up into some kind of, for me, a big Voltron commander. I think that'd be a really, really fun way to build it. Commander damage as well. Whichever one of your commanders deals damage, that's done individually as well. It's very individual for partners. It's quite funny, actually. Um, so, yeah. So, we say Elgriff does some damage. You're trying to get to that 21 damage or more to your opponent. Then, if maybe Ludovic is on the field and does some damage with its big 1-4 body, um, you know, that would be separate damage. So, you have to get 21 or more with each of your partner. It doesn't count as together. It doesn't count, you know, they both count single. So, you know, you have to be wary of that, you know, you know, don't make any mistakes in attacking with a separate one thinking, yes, I've won and make that move. Then all of a sudden you're like, nope, that's a separate commander. So, yep, that is the way that has to happen. One last thing to remember is if any card refers to your commander or commanders in general, it means either one of the two. So you have to remember that if you're saying pump up your commander, you can't actually pump up both. You will be able to just pump up Silas. You know, I'm just using that as an example. You can only then obviously hit one of your commanders that way. There's a lot of individual stuff going on, but you still, <laughs> it's quite funny that it's called partner i do like that they do partner up in the command zone and apparently you know sometimes are potentially on the battlefield as well 
but everything else is treated basically as individual uh, which is you know is the right way imagine how broken it would be if you could attack with this commander and that commander and still get the double damage you'd be attacking maybe both in the same turn and you could potentially kill someone in one swoop which obviously you can do with one commander anyway and a big Voltron or maybe something else like that um, but yeah I think that would be um, decidedly broken and um, people would definitely definitely be up in arms and complaining about that so this has just been a little introduction into what is commander partner and just showing off my absolutely lovely etch foils that i love let me know which ones you've pulled in there are you going to be building commander partner decks i'd love to know what your combinations are um, and let me tell me about your deck in the comments i would really really like that don't forget to join the discord as well we do chat about deck build and everything like that there's links in the description below as well big shout out to all my patreons thank you very much and a new patreon mr bevers as well Thank you for joining, and anyway, you lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.